Ahoy mateys and welcome back to a new tutorial. You guys asked for it and now it's finally time to make a video on it. Mario Kart RKGP GP on LaunchBox. Also going to show you how to set this bad boy up on a racing cab. Arr, let's drive. Let's start with downloading the Triforce 4.0-309 version of the emulator. See link below. When the download is complete, extract the files using a program like 7-Zip to a location on your computer. See 7-Zip download below. Rename the file the same name as the download zip file. Just makes it easier to locate after. Now let's download the Triforce 4.0-315 version of the emulator. See link below. Extract the contents and rename the file like before. I like to delete my zip folders after extracting. It's up to you if you want to keep them. Go online and run a search for the game. Make sure it's an ISO version of the game. It will not be too hard to find this ROM. We are going to use the first emulator to create a save file and then use the second emulator to run the game from the save file we create. Open the Triforce 4.0-309 folder and run the executable. Click on the config tab and then select the GameCube tab. Make sure your settings look exactly like mine. Pause the video if needed. Open the ROM path and navigate to your ROM folder. Click select folder, you should see your ROM show up. Right click on the ROM and select properties. Click on edit config, copy and paste the provided patch below into this location. See patch info below. File, then save, close. Under the patch tab, you should see disable crypto and loop fix. Close out of this window. Now go into your controller tab, click clear. Under the device dropdown, select your controller. I'm using the Xbox controller for this section of the video. Set your A, Z, start, select, gas, and brake buttons. Make sure not to set the Y button to anything. This will crash the game. Let's go to the Options tab and then select Hotkey Settings. Next to Play and Pause field, click and make this the letter P. You can change this to any key you want. OK. Now double click and run the game. Using your controller, select No for I have a new Mario card. Then for Make a Mario card, select Yes. After it saves, press the letter P on your keyboard. This will pause the game. Go into the emulator, click the emulator tab, and then save state. Select the first slot. Close out of the game in the emulator. Time to open the second Triforce 4.0-315 folder. Click and run the executable. Verify the emulator has all the same settings as the older version. Now you should be able to run the game and load the first save state to test. Now to use full screen and change the resolution, go to the Options tab, then Graphic Settings. Check the box for full screen. You can also change your screen size in this location. Also to stop the Dolphin emulator from prompting a message after closing, you will need to go into the Options tab, then Configure. Click on the Interface tab and uncheck the box next to Confirm on Stop. OK. Load the game and you're ready to play Mario Kart Arcade GP on a controller. If that's all you need, you can stop at this location in the video. The next part will be about setting up the game on LaunchBox. Download and install LaunchBox. See link below. When the install is complete, open LaunchBox. 
go into tools, import, ROM files, next, add files, navigate to your ROM folder, click on the ROM and then select open, next. Under platform, click the drop down and select Nintendo GameCube. Next, click manually configure emulator. Click add. I'm going to name my emulator Dolphin Triforce 4.0-315. Under application path, click on browse and navigate to your emulator folder. If you don't see the executable, click the drop down at the bottom right hand side and select all files. Click the executable and then open. Click on Associated Platforms tab and make sure Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii are both unchecked. Now click on Running Script. Copy and paste the below lines into this location. See information below. This will press F1 to load the save state that we created. Next. Click Use Files in their current location. Next. 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 Finish. And that's it. Now you can play Mario Kart Arcade GP on LaunchBox with the controller. The next part of this video will be about adding a steering wheel. Download X output. See link below. When to complete, extract the contents to your computer. Open X output, click the box next to show all input devices. Should see your wheel in the list. Click add controller. Select edit. The top option will be for your steering wheel left and right. Click configure. Move your wheel all the way to the left and then all the way to the right. Click save. Click the right trigger and configure button and press your gas pedal. Save. Click the left trigger configure button and press your brake pedal. Save. Make sure to click the invert button after. Now go through the rest of your buttons and set them up. Click the box next to start emulation when controller is connected. Close and then save. Now for the next part I'm going to create some auto hotkey scripts to load and close out of X output for this game. I'm doing it this way because I'm not using X output for all my games in LaunchBox. Download and install auto hotkey. See link below. After installing find a location you want the script to stay in and right click. New auto hotkey script. Going to name this script Start App. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Copy and paste the below line in this script. Make sure to change the file path to your X output executable location. File, then save. Close. Right click on Create Another Auto Hotkey Script. Name this one Close App and Script. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Copy and paste the below script into this location. File, save, close. Select both files, right click, and compile script. And I should see two new auto hotkey scripts. Load launch box, click on the game, and then select edit. Under additional apps, click add application. Type the name of the script under application path Click Browse, navigate to your auto hotkey script location, click on Start App and then Open. Click the checkbox next to automatically run before main application. Run the same process for the second script. Click OK when finished. And that's it. When you load Mario Kart Arcade GP from LaunchBox or Big Box, it will load X output and then minimize it. When you exit the game, it will exit X output and the auto hotkey script. It's up to you if you want to create an auto hotkey script. Every build is different, so I understand if creating the provided scripts might not work for you. This game is pretty fun. It takes a moment to get used to the controls and the power sliding, but is a great addition to any arcade.
If you like this video and want to see more, green shell the like button, power slide into the subscribe button, and blue shell the bell for future video notifications. Until next time, buckos, this is the arcade part, selling out.